very special and very exciting that's coming up. As you all know, Yod Aleph Nisan, the Rebbe's birthday, is coming up. And Tzivas Hashem soldiers from around the world always gather together to give the Rebbe the very best present we can give. We give the Rebbe hundreds of thousands of lines of Tanya Balpe and Mishnaya Balpe. And the Rebbe once said, I know people are planning to give me things for my birthday. And of course, someone, when it's their birthday, they don't make conditions of what kind of presents they want. But the Rebbe said, adding entire learning is the best birthday present for the Rebbe. Girls, it's the Rebbe's birthday. And more than ever, Tanya and Mishnayis, we really need to do our part to learn as much as we can over this Shabbos. See how much Tanya you can review, how much more Tanya you could learn, how much Mishnayis, how much Pirkei Yavis you know. We really need to give the Rebbe the best present possible. And the Satan thought, hey, 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 I'll close down the schools. I'll make sure that they're not able to give the Rebbe such a special present. We are going to show that Satan that this year by Yod Aleph Nisan, we're not going to let the Satan, we're not going to let him win. We're, we're not really worried about letting him win. We are going to give the Rebbe Be'eni Basa. We're going to give the Rebbe himself because we know Mashiach's coming right now. We have our tambourines ready, hanging at our door. There's even a psak. I'm sure you've all, a lot of your parents heard this. And even Rabbi Gluchovsky, Mary Stroll said, make sure you have your tambourines ready by the door. We know we're living in very Guladika times right now. And we know Mashiach's coming. So girls, listen up carefully. This, Yod Alef Nisan, we need to show the Rebbe. Give the Rebbe the best present. We're not in school. Our teachers can't test us and get our lines from us and collect everything and then send it into Tzivas Hashem. Each of us count on, we count on you. It depends on every single girl doing her part. Every single child knowing that they, when they're giving in their lines of Tanya and their lines of Mishnayis, they're giving the Rebbe the best present. We, more than ever, we really, really need to count on you. What's so special about Tanya Balpe? It's an interesting story. Once, because of today is, again, we know, Be'ez Nisan, the Rebbe Rashab's yard site, a hundred years. And this is a very special story about Tanya Balpe. Once, because of something very halic that the Rebbe Rashab did, his father, the Rebbe Maharash, took him to a special place in Shomayim. And he took him up to Shomayim. And the Rebbe Rashab it was a very, very special Halika place. But now this was this place, the Rebbe Rashab couldn't go more up higher than this. So the Rebbe Maharaj continued on his own, even higher up in the levels of Shemayim. In the meantime, the Rebbe Rashab noticed a spot where he was. That it was, there was this unbelievable light. And there was a Yid there who, according to his level of Avaita, it almost looked like, what's this Yid doing in this Halika place in Shemayim? And he, I mean, he, he, of course, we don't know the level of Nishamas, but he was, he was wondering, why, how did this Yid deserve such a special place in Shemayim? And when his father, Rabbi Marash, came back, Rabbi Rashab asked him, how, how, did, how did this Yid reach such a high level? Rabbi Marash answered, you know what he said? It's true that he's a very simple, he might be a simple Yid, but he was fluent in Tanya. And he would always say Tanya Balpet wherever he went. From morning to night, he would say Tanya Balpet all the time. And look, what a place he merited in Shemaim. The power of Tanya Balpe could get you through anything. I can tell you personally, I've been in like a situation or two where sometimes I'm, I, I might feel like worried or concerned. And just the words of Tanya have gotten me through it. Just saying the words of Tanya Balpe just help you. And they calm you. And they put your, in the, you're just, you're, you're being taken care of. Tanya Balpe has unbelievable kaiches. Our life made luck depends on the air we breathe, right? If you're living next to a factory and the factory is sending up a uh, black, you know, like smoke and a person's breathing that every day, um, they might not be so healthy. They might have health issues and things might be going a little wrong for them. The same thing is the air that we breathe is very important for us. When we are surrounded by tar and mitzvahs, we live a healthy life and then the first step to becoming healthy is to make the ear around us even more halic and more pure. When we say words of Tanya in the street, when we say words of, of Mishnayis in the street, of Perkei it actually purifies the ear around us and it makes 
the whole environment that's called Taras Aver. It makes ear around us so much more halic. And when we say words of Tyra in the store, in the street, on the subway, whenever a merchant is safe to go to all those places, we're actually cleaning the air. And you're like making the air around you just more halic and more pure. Everyone who knows Tyra must have some Tyra memorized. It has to be Chumash or Tylum or Mishnayis or Tanya. At all times and all places, be able to think and say these halic words. That's what the Friedrich Rebbe says. It's so important to have this. Medlach is the biggest gift for you. When you know Tanya Baal nothing in the world comes close to that. When you're able to go and say your Tanya Baal and you're going to give the Rebbe this special present, say, Rebbe, this year, this something tried to get me mixed up. And usually my Mora tests me at this time of the year, and we're really, really doing a lot of Tanya Baal so we give the Rebbe the best present. And the Satan said, ha, there'll be no school. I won't be able to let you give the Rebbe such a special present. I'm going to say, Rebbe, no, more than ever, Rebbe, we are giving you so much, many lines of Tanya Bapet and so many lines of Mishnayis Bapet because we know, Rebbe, this year on Yom Nisan, by your birthday, when we give the Rebbe his present by the Beis HaMikdash, we want to know we did all we can. And the lines are due merch them next week, I believe, Monday, Tuesday. Make sure you put it on, on your parent account of how many lines of Tanya you know, how many lines of Mishnayis you know, because we really, really need your part to give the Rebbe the best and most special present. And you know, once a Chassid once came to the Rebbe, and the Chassid said, Rebbe, how can I be Makusher? How can I be connected to you? The Rebbe answered, you should learn Tanya Baal Peh and review it in the street. That way you'll be connected to me because I also review Tanya in the street. Could you imagine, by you reviewing Tanya in the street, you're being connected and Makush to the Rebbe because that's what the Rebbe said. He always does in, does in the street. So Medlach, we're counting on you. Let's give the Rebbe the most special present this year. Every single soldier in service Hashem, and even soldiers who aren't service Hashem, they're collecting lines from the whole world. We need everyone's help to give the Rebbe the most amazing present this year. I mean, of course, every single girl and boy is in the army of Hashem. As soon as you're born... A Jewish mother, you're already in the army of Hashem. But I mean, even if you're technically not registered, the Chayoli Tzivus Hashem, of course, we still need your lines of Tanya Bapet and Mishnah Yisbapet because this is something that all of us are giving the Rebbe together as the most amazing gift. And girls, one more interesting story about Tanya Bapet. It's where Mendel Fotofas' Mashpia demanded from him that he should study a lot of Tanya Bapet. And where Mendel Fotofas later said, he had some very hard years in the labor camps in Siberia and in the prisons. And what kept him going was the Tanya and the Mishnayis that he memorized. And he would review it constantly. And then later, for that reason, when he was demanded that the Bachrim in Kfar Chabad Yeshivas, he said, they have learned Tanya Bapen. He was, when he was test them, he was very particular about every single letter that they're saying it properly and accurately. Because it got him through the hardest things. Girls, let's do this.